Hello, welcome to Travelling Threads Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to make this crochet flower. It's a really quick project. It's great for using up your last ends and leftover scraps of yarn. And I'm going to pop this flower onto a hair clip as well as I'm going to give it to a little girl as a present. But of course you can make them for yourself and you can use any size hook, any size yarn. You can make them in one colour, in lots of different colours. It's a really creative project. So I hope this helps and you can uh, yeah, put all those leftover bits of yarn to use. Okay, so you're also going to need a pair of scissors, a darning needle to weave in your ends, and a hair clip if you want to pop it onto a hair clip as well. And you'll have to excuse my nails, I've been out in the garden uh, weeding uh, this week because we've had beautiful weather, so yeah, if you could just ignore the terrible nails, okay? And <laughs> we'll get on with the project. All right, so I'm going to use a Sadar Snuggly yarn today. Uh, it's an acrylic and cotton blend. I've got some leftover from making a skirt. So the first thing you're going to do is make a slip knot. I would leave a longer tail than I usually would on most projects as we're going to use that tail to attach onto the hair clip later on. But of course, if you're not going to attach it on, you can make a smaller tail if you wish. So once you've made your slip knot, insert your hook and just pull it a little tight so that you've got a good bit of tension on the hook there. And we're going to chain six to begin. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So once you have your chain six, you're going to bring your chain around to form a circle and insert your hook into the first chain that you made. Hopefully that's nice and clear. Yarn over, pull through and pull through that one loop on your hook as well. And there you have your chain circle. And this is the centre that we're going to be working into for the next ring. Um, we're going to be making slips, uh, sorry, not slip stitches, single crochet stitches into here, into the circle, rather than working into the chains, okay? With your loose tail, you can weave it in as you go. So I'm just going to wrap my tail around my circle like so, holding it loosely. Can you see that? So I've got my circle here. This is my tail. I'm going to just bring it around so that I can do my single crochets over my tail to weave it into the circle. Okay. So we're going to insert into the circle around your tail end, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through the two remaining loops on your hook. That is your first single crochet. So again, working into the circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. And that's two single crochets. We're going to make 10 in total, okay? So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So that's 10 single crochets I've made there. The circle is a little bit messy at the moment, but what we're going to do is find the very first single crochet we made, which is this one here, and the two loops on the hook, we're going to insert our hook through those two loops at the top, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through that last remaining loop on the hook. So essentially we've just made a slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet that we made. I'm going to chain one, pull my yarn up a little and then just snip it with the scissors with a nice long tail again because I'm going to use that tail to wrap around the hair clip later. You don't have to use or leave as big a tail as that if you don't want to. So once you have your circle secure, you can now find the first tail that you had in your original chain six and just give it a very gentle pull to close the circle. So the hole will probably be quite big right now, but if you just give it a gentle pull, you'll see it actually comes 
in, tucks in a little smaller and a little neater. And that's our centerpiece of our flower, okay? So if you're going to change colour, which I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this pretty blue here. I do it now and uh, we're going to again make a slip knot with a long tail. Don't insert your hook through there yet because the first thing we're going to do is just insert through any of the two loops on top of any of the single crochets on the circle. So I'm just going to pop my hook through there and then you're going to attach your slip knot with your new colour. Just pull it a little bit tight, it's not really tight because you still want it to be able to slide. Sorry, I've gone out of camera there. So yeah, attach your hook, let it slide so it's not too tight and then pull through the orange single crochet or whichever colour you're using. I just realised I've come through with my tail there so I'm just going to do that again. So attach your slip knot, pull through and then chain one. That chain one doesn't count as a stitch, it's just there to attach it to our inner circle, okay? Then into the next stitch along, which is this one here, we're going to make a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So in that stitch we have now one double crochet. The next thing we're going to do is make two treble crochets. So if you've never made a treble crochet before, you're going to yarn twice over your hook. Okay, I'll do that again for you. So twice, wrap around your hook until you have three loops on the hook sitting there waiting to be used. We're going to insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. We're going to make one more treble crochet into that same stitch so we can do it again. So yarn over twice around your hook, so you have three loops on your hook. Insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So we now have three stitches into that same stitch there. We're going to make one more double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you now have four stitches into that same stitch. One double crochet, two treble crochets, and one last double crochet. And that's essentially, essentially sorry, your first petal of a flower, okay? Into the next stitch, which is this one here, we're going to make a slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then just slip it, pull it through that one remaining loop on your hook. So now it's time for the second petal. So it's going to be a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now for two treble crochets. So yarn over twice around your hook. I'll do that again because it's out of camera. Yarn over twice around your hook. Insert into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over, pull through two. One more treble crochet. Yarning over twice. Inserting into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two and then yarn over, pull through two. And then the last stitch to go into the same stitch is going to be a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is two petals made. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch along, which is this one here. Insert your hook, pull through, and then pull through that last loop on your hook. So for the third petal, finding your next, next stitch along, so this one here, make a double crochet. This one's just a little bit trickier to get into because it's the one with the chain one. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
and now for two treble crochets. Make them into the same stitch. Hold on, I didn't do my yarn over twice properly. So yarn over twice, insert your hook. That's one treble crochet for the second treble crochet, all into the same stitch. And then your last stitch will be a double crochet. So there we have the third petal. Finding your next stitch, make a slip stitch. And then time for your fourth petal into the next stitch. So first of all, a double crochet. Ooh. There we go. And then two treble crochets, so yarning twice around your hook, inserting, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more time for another treble. And then your last stitch of the petal will be another double crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Slip stitching into the next stitch. And then you can see we've got a space for one more petal and one more slip stitch. So for the last petal, one double crochet. two treble crochets and then the last stitch for the petal will be a double crochet and you should have hopefully one stitch left one spare stitch left and that's where your last slip stitch will go Okay, so once you've made your last slip stitch, I like to chain one, pull through, I'm going to leave quite a long tail again, snip that one off, pull through, and there you have your five petal flower. Okay, and here you can just give it a little bit of a tidy up, pull the circle a little bit again of the centre, and then we're going to use our darning needle just to weave in these loose ends. Now, because I'm going to be wrapping my flower around a hair clip, I'm going to just bring my loose ends into the middle here so I can use them to tie around the hair clip. But of course, if you're going to use it for something else, you can just weave it and hide it inside the underneath of the petals. Okay, so just bear with me a moment. I'm going to bring all my ends into the middle. I don't need to go too far, I'm just going to tuck it into the centre circle. I'm going to keep two of my loose ends on one side, so the two blues are going to be on this side of the flower and then I'm going to keep my oranges on the other side and that way I can lay the um, hair clip in the middle and use threads from both sides to tie it around. Hopefully that makes sense. This probably isn't the most technical or pretty or professional way to attach to a hair clip but it's just a quick simple way I do and it seems to work okay, they last a long time. Okay, so there you can see I've got two blues on one side and two oranges on the other. So I'm just going to lay my flower down. I'm going to grab my hair clip. So this is the underneath of the flower that's pointing upwards. And I'm going to open my hair clip and lay... Oh, my hair clip's just broken. Oh no. Well, just for purposes of direction, I'll just carry on <laughs> for the sake of the video. So the top of my hair clip, I'm going to point downwards towards the flower. I'm going to lay it on top in the middle and then you can just take one colour from one side 
one color from the other side and we're just going to make I'm going to make a double threaded knot there just to slide onto the top of the hair clip and again taking the other two from the other side I'm going to wrap it around twice make sure it's slipping underneath the clip there so can you see I've got two knots on top of there I'm going to try and push it down to the bottom part of the hair clip and just tighten those knots Again, not too tight because you don't want to actually affect the shape of the flower, but just enough so that it's going to hold. So can you see it's sitting there onto the hair clip? Then once you've got your knots tied around the top bit of the hair clip, I then just make another couple of knots on the top bit. Oh all getting away from me. There we go. So that's one on the top and then make another. So there you can see again like probably not the most professional neat way to do it but it does seem to work. If you want to make it extra secure you can just use a double double knot to do again on top there. You can then just use your darning needle to weave the ends through the flower petals or if you feel happy with the knot you can just snip close to the knots you've made and that should stay you know and you can wash them if you want to if they're cotton and stuff so it is a great little present and they'll settle into themselves and you can pop them straight on your own or somebody else's hairdo. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's how to make these little blossom crochet flowers. I hope you've enjoyed that. You can kind of see the difference between the one I made <laughs> when I was relaxed and the one I've made to the video, but hopefully you get the idea. Um, yeah, enjoy. They're really lovely to make. And yeah, if you're like me, you can't bear to throw away any yarn, then they're great for using up those end pieces as well. Alright, so thanks for watching. Enjoy. Happy hooking. I'll see you again. Bye.